Going into this project, we really wanted to solve a problem that we encounter in our lives. During the brainstorming, both Vince and I identified that with limited living space, it would be ideal to have a table that could be used for multiple purposes. We decided that designing a modular table that could change shape and height would, would provide a solution to this. We also chose this as our project because we knew we would be able to produce a finished project, and that was one of the goals that we had identified. In order to make this project as close to our vision as possible, we came up with a list that prioritized our desired product features. First off, we knew that a grid design would be the best way to allow for a variety of table shapes to fit the needs of individual customers. The table also had to include adjustable height legs. This way, the table could easily be transformed from a coffee table to a living room or dining room table. Finally, we wanted the steps to reconfigure the table to be as hassle-free as possible. To do this, a simple bolt and wing nut design was used to make fastening the grids together quick and easy. The driving factor for our project was spending, so a lot of the decisions that we made were geared towards cutting down on costs. One of the biggest challenges that we faced during the design process was designing a cheap grid locking mechanism that would both align and compress grids together. We bounced back and forth between a few potential solutions, but finally decided on a bolt and wing nut combination because it was the most cost effective and ergonomic. We took it to the machine shop and tested it out and found that it was strong enough to hold together the grids the way we wanted. So we decided to go with that in our final design. All right. Once the design was finalized, we needed to pick out what materials we wanted to use. We headed to Home Depot to do some research and testing. For the side panels of the frames, we chose aluminum because it's easily machinable and rigid, yet relatively cheap. For the tabletops, we decided on melamine coated wood because it provided us with a clean professional look and water resistance. For the legs, we chose IKEA legs because they could easily be cut to size for our prototype and they are much cheaper than adjustable legs. If our group had more time and money to further develop this project, there are a few design changes we would make to enhance the usability of our product. The first change would be the use of a quick release lever instead of the bolt and wing nut system. This would allow for rapid configuration changes while maintaining the sturdiness of our table. The next change would, we would implement would be telescoping legs so that the customer can adapt their Optimus table for a variety of table heights. Lastly, interchangeable tabletops would really accentuate the adaptability of our product. Tabletops could vary both in material as well as design. We believe these changes will bring out the full potential of our Optimus table.